Hey guys, how is it going? Sam here. Today's topic is DynamoDB. It's a fully managed database service offering from Amazon. Uh, and uh, this is essentially a NoSQL database service for all application that needs consistent single digit millisecond latency at any scale. So that, that's something to you know focus. Uh, the latency will be you know very uh, less and uh, this is a high performance uh, database. It is a fully managed cloud database and supports both document and key value store models. It's flexible data model and reliable performance make it a great uh, fit for mobile, web, gaming, ad tech, uh, internet of things and uh, many other applications. So this is you know uh, gaining popularity. This is already popular and uh, you know more or less many applications are you know uh, starting to migrate uh, uh, towards uh, DynamoDB. So that's something which you need to understand. The features of DynamoDB, um, we have uh, DAX, Amazon DynamoDB Accelerator, which is a fully managed, uh, highly available in-memory cache service that is uh, available with uh, DynamoDB. So what it does, uh, this in-memory cache, uh, it will reduce the load on the DynamoDB and uh, it will highly, you know, it will increase the response times from milliseconds to microseconds, even at millions of requests per uh, second. Moving on to the next item, we have document data model support. DynamoDB supports storing, querying and updating documents. It does uh, support a key value data model as well. And seamless scaling, high availability are some of its features. On the fly or on the go, you can modify the settings and uh, you can increase or scale up the database. So it does provide that uh, functionality where in, in RDS it lacks that and uh, develop locally scale globally. So you can you know download a copy of the original DynamoDB database you have. You can you know maybe store it in on your laptop or maybe on an EC2 instance and uh, do the development activity. So that's what I mean by develop locally and uh, uh, scale globally. It does also support a cross region replication. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, share the data across different uh, AWS regions, yes, uh, it does uh, have that support. And then pricing model, uh, DynamoDB simply asks you to specify the target utilization rate and uh, minimum to maximum capacity that you want for your table. So it's, it's based on based on you know, three different uh, attributes, namely provisioned throughput write, and then provisioned throughput read, and finally indexed data storage. Based on these three items, DynamoDB's pricing is calculated. On the next slide, I have something uh, important. You might be hearing this a lot when dealing with uh, DynamoDB. A unit of write capacity enables you to perform one write per second for items up to 1 KB in size. And uh, unit of read capacity enables you to perform one strongly consistent read per second or two eventually consistent uh, reads per second of items up to 4 KB in size. So you'll be you know, uh, hearing this a lot if you are you know, uh, dealing with a DynamoDB write capacity, read capacity and uh, things like that. So you will have to you know calculate what is your read capacity and write capacity and accordingly um, the pricing model will be you know selected and uh, that's that. Without further ado, let's get into the Amazon console and uh, try to you know uh, launch and launch a you know DynamoDB instance and give it a try. Log into the AWS console and then under database we have DynamoDB. If it is the first time you guys are you know um, going into the section, um, you will be you know seeing this splash screen once you navigate into Amazon DynamoDB. So let's quickly you know click on create a table and then straight away it's gonna ask me for the table name. I'm gonna say music and primary key. Uh, let's say track and uh, I'm gonna leave it as a string table settings. Uh, I'm gonna uh, you know create it with the default settings not gonna change anything. So no secondary indexes provision capacity set to 5 reads and uh, 5 writes basic alarm with 80% uh, upper threshold using SNS topic DynamoDB. So it, it does create a you know SNS topic and that will you know use it for uh, firing the alarms. I'm gonna ignore this uh, information. I'm gonna click on create. So there we go. Uh, it is you know processing or it is you know uh, trying to create the database instance for us. 
on the dashboard you could uh, see uh, what is going on the current status and uh, things like that <coughs> the status of uh, dynamo db uh, uh, for the selected region and i have selected uh, asia pacific mumbai so you can you know clearly see that and total capacity reserve capacity things like that can be you know uh, seen over here under tables you have your uh, database and reserve capacity uh, if you wanted to you know opt for reserved capa capacity database uh, instance of dynamo db yeah you can you can get into you know one year or three year uh, contract and uh, get a reserved capacity instance let's go back to tables and that's it uh, select your uh, uh, table which uh, we named as music and relatively you know it is that simple uh, launching a dynamo db instance and under the overview tab you could see these options stream details table details the table name is you know music primary partition key which was which was selected is track uh, it's of uh, type string and uh, provision read and write capacity which were selected uh, uh, it was the default option um, you know it's it's five and then uh, storage size it, it's not using anything amazon resource name this is the resource name um, for uh, this particular database let's go to items and then uh, click on create item so here you have the track I'm gonna say first I'm gonna click on append let's add name let's name our track something and then let's try to add uh, another string artist and I'm gonna click on save let's quickly um, add a couple of items once done you can click on save let's add uh, one more will be the final track is 3 we have to add new we'll say something like this we'll append one more string character which will hold the value of artist and uh, let's quickly you know save this under tables you could see your uh, uh, table which is uh, music and then if you navigate to items you could see this arranged neatly uh, under the table and querying the database uh, it's relatively you know simple uh, you can you know scan the table or you know you can run a query what you need to do is add a filter and then you can you know select the attribute so if I wanted to you know uh, list out a track and then uh, it's you know the type is of a string uh, it equals to let's say three and then it's gonna you know bring me that particular row which uh, says a uh, track number three you can you know see the artist and uh, uh, the name of the track same thing goes with query if you wanted to you know run a query against the table you can so partition key let's uh, say uh, two and then I'm gonna remove the filter which we we were using I'm gonna click on start search immediately it's gonna bring me up and other feature as I told you uh, we can maintain a copy I mean you can you can take a copy of the dynamo DB and uh, put it into your local uh, space or maybe an in EC2 instance and there uh, that's the way we work I mean uh, my development team they used to you know do this and uh, locally they'll be developing and then globally they'll be you know publishing it so items that's that's what uh, you can do there are you know actions like duplicate edit uh, delete export to csv manage dtl things like that i'm not gonna you know focus on that since this is a basic overview and then metrics uh, it gives this you know dashboards um, which is a nice option um, if you if you ask me the main thing which you have to you know focus is read capacity and uh, then write capacity so you can see the provisioned capacity 
uh, we have started this dynamo db instance with uh, five uh, read and write capacity units if you remember so that's what is marked here and uh, you can see the consumed uh, read and write capacity uh, represented by blue line so we are not you know consuming much you can clearly see it from the um, you know dashboard and then uh, put latency get latency things like that you know um, for the you know if you if you are you know interested in uh, of these kind of dashboards yes it does provide information about the dynamo db instance alarm i'm not going to concentrate on that capacity yes uh, this is uh, what we have started with we were using five uh, read capacity units and five write capacity units by default uh, we'll be you know um, uh, launching the table with this if you are selecting uh, default options and this is the you know beauty of uh, Amazon DynamoDB on the fly or on the go you can always change these attributes if I wanted to you know bring it down to say 10 you can and then let's you know uh, scale up uh, the write capacity unit as well into 10 and then here you can you know clearly see the estimated cost if you wanted to you know go with auto scaling you can you know simply select this and then uh, set the uh, triggers I mean the uh, target uh, utilization percentage and uh, the minimum provision capacity things like that can be you know uh, given over there so Amazon DynamoDB upon sensing there is a huge uh, load it's gonna scale up automatically you don't need to worry about anything Amazon will take care of it you have to focus on this in RDS Amazon RDS this option is you know not at all available push button uh, uh, scaling or uh, on the fly or on the go you cannot you know change the settings like this so what you have to do is you will have to you know take a snapshot of and then you know um, launch an RDS instance and then at the time of creating the new instance RDS instance you will have to you know select um, a higher version of the instance you have to change the type of the instance and then uh, change the settings there and then itself and then you can launch the RDS instance but with DynamoDB it is dynamic right on the fly you can you know come here and uh, change the capacity attributes just like that you have indexes over here if you wanted to create a secondary index and things like that triggers uh, if you wanted to work with uh, ham, uh, Amazon Lambda you can uh, you can you can use uh, this section access control it can uh, you know you can you can use fine grained access control for uh, dynamo db and for that you'll be you know coming here tags you can add the tags and uh, manage it over here that's that with uh, dynamo db let's go back to the table and then uh, let's uh, delete the table which you have created click on delete and i'm gonna select this as well delete all cloudwatch alarms for this table That's it guys, uh, uh, the DynamoDB instance is uh, gone. Thanks a lot for watching the video guys, I'll see you in the next one.